Hello. Hi, how are you today? So today let's talk about what's actually happening in this energy as we lead up to the solstice. Uh, this may seem a little bit premature to some people, but what you do now matters. And if you've been following your own ascension journey and you've been actively doing some things and following me, you will notice that you start to experience some things ahead of time, as it should be because you're actually at a higher level that enables you to do that. So what has happened since the last moon phase? Well, the last moon phase actually took a lot of people out and is starting to take people into a level where they actually have to address what is happening in their lives. Now, we talked about this because metaphysically, we know that these things happen. People start to become aware, like, I really can't be in this relationship or I can't be in this marriage. This is the do or die time. This is like really starting to show up and it is making people sick. So just like, no kidding. I had about seven phone calls of people where someone died. Someone had died and passed over and some of the deaths were expected, but it finally happened. A couple of people were lingering in a nursing home. And this is very indicative of these types of portals where suddenly that person can go to where they need. Now, I have asked metaphysically, because that is who I am, a metaphysician, why do these things happen? Why do people linger, let's say, with some form of dementia? Well, there is a part of them that is actually tied to the past. Now, this is a lot of masculine mentalities. This is not just men, but it is masculine mentalities where something has happened along that person's path and boom. It's like the straw that breaks the camel's back. They get to this life and there is a memory of it there. But what does it do when people are unhealthy, unwell, not themselves? Now you take this on a larger scale and you have many, many things having to do with the mind and the mentality. And this is why it is happening. This is why marriages cannot continue because the old mentality says, well, we can just bump along like this. We can each just have affairs. Doesn't matter if I step out. Oh, we have to stay in this for the kids. All bad reasons all the worst reasons ever, okay? Children, maybe not so much, but still children who have grown up in volatile households are not served very well by unhealthy parents. We've hit the wall here. I think I'm going to start drinking and drugging. No, I'm going to start drinking and drugging. You see how this starts to get unhealthy. People turn to addictions because that's been a way to cope. In the past, that is mentality, and that too may run in families. What about other mentalities? Okay, like you know, all this group is bad, all that. Okay, so these are things of the mind, and this is distinctly masculine energy mind connections of the ego and of the physical living level that actually have to transform, have to become transmuted and transcended, okay? If you don't know how to transcend it, let me tell you, the easiest way is through your new twin flame body. That is what I teach, and that is what we are going to talk about this coming up weekend in my Pivot Point group. We're going to meet for three days. How do you know when to surrender? How do you know when to help your other half? Particularly if you are a person who loves a man or you feel that your twin is a man, if you haven't met, it's fine. You have to be able to be the one that doesn't stay in that toxic soup, that toxic soup of mentalities, and then keep things moving. You might say to yourself, why do I have to do all the work? I've seen that for years. Why do I have to do all the work? Why do I have to do all the work? Guess what? You're doing the work for yourself. You are the one that benefits. That's why I always say focus on you because you're the first and foremost person who will benefit. And 
because you have a connection to a real person, it benefits them as well, makes them a nicer person, smooths their path, helps them get guidance from you, from your higher self, right from deep in their heart. That's how they get steered by the heart, not with the mind. That is how we bypass the mind and let them feel what would be the best, honorable, highest and best use of our love to make the situation as tolerable and extricate for everyone concerned. Old mentalities will say fight to, you know, fight to the tooth and death, okay? First blood, okay, we're taking down hostages. No, you don't. It doesn't have to be that way. How do you know when to surrender and when to take action? How do you know the things you should do with the things you sense? So if you've been waiting for an opportunity to kind of dig into this kind of work, please join us because we're going to have a presentation on it. I always give recommendations for these energies and the ones that you are going to be stepping into leading up to the solstice because that is an even bigger pivot point than you may even realize right now. Okay. Why? What is it? What is it? It's time for togetherness. Okay, it's like that season of summer love, season of summer love. And what do you remember about summer love? Did you ever have a teenage romance or fling that was totally just so pure and innocent? You just had fun. It's going to be like that for some people. Let go of the concept that this is, uh, how do I say this? Like it is for everyone if you partake of it. But let go of the concept that everyone's all going at the same time. This is why it has to be you. It's on you and it's for you and it's with you and it's in you. And in union with you. So let's get moving on it. So we will have recommendations on what to do so that you continue feeling good over the next set of energy so that you don't feel dragged down with this weird eclipse intensity and all of that other stuff. And also that you are able to pose questions, live questions. Because asking questions through the comment section, honestly, I don't know how much time you think people have to sit there and go, do, 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 do. come and ask live, okay? We are a lovely group of people and it is about time to join because this will be very, very beneficial, not just for one of you, but for both of you, okay? I am teaching the actual people how to integrate their parts of the light body. This is a mini integration class, which is surrounding the moon energy with the eclipse and a lot of the things that go with it. Your own concerns will be specifically individual for you. You can write them to me and please join. The links are below. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Bye.